<clears throat> All right. Today's body weight is almost 81 kilos, 81.10. It was a gym session since gyms reopened. They were closed for a week in my country due to the, the thing. So yeah, starting off here, I do usual warm-up, like spinning around the joints, uh, stretching and stuff. Then I did uh, 20 reps with uh, just the bar. I do that every time just to, to pump some blood in, in the body to get it ready for a bigger weight. And here we got uh, 60 kilos. Today was the plan that I go and uh, I try and hit my best uh, PR uh, beltless. Because the last time uh, my PR was uh, 165 kilos. That's with a belt. And this is uh, 80 kilos, by the way. And I was thinking about it like uh, I do this uh, to transfer to parkour. And wearing a belt and doing uh, lifts doesn't make any sense. I've been lifting for a while and um, I've used belt only two times. First one was uh, just to try it, random, just random numbers. And the second time was uh, to break the PR. Now when I look back, the PR was broken only because of the belt. I could not lift the double bodyweight squat at the time without the belt. So moving forward, I will not use the belt. I never used any knee sleeves and uh, yeah, no lifting shoes because I want this to be as much as transferable as possible to to the parkour. This is, I believe, uh, 100 kilos. So, I was hoping today to hit uh, 160 kilos. That was maybe too optimistic because the, the last PR was 165 and I also weighed uh, more. So I was like, okay, I I, sh I will probably hit 150. Uh, by the way, I never did uh, any weight above 140 without the belt. So this is, um, I believe, uh, let me see, this is 120. Also, I am recovering from an ankle injury. I had a massive ankle thing, as we call it in parkour world like a few weeks ago I did a side flip and landed uh, loosely on my left uh, ankle and uh, just uh, got the injury when it happens when your tibia hits the the callus bone so yeah I couldn't walk for a uh, few minutes just sat down after uh, I walked around for maybe 10 to 15, felt a bit better, but I, I knew it was going to cost me a bit. And nevertheless, uh, I continued my training, which was probably not the smartest thing, but it is what it is. And the next day, I couldn't like, really use my ankle properly, couldn't really walk properly. So I started the rehabilitating right away. Now it feels alright, but still at the bottom position, it's it kind of bothers me. It doesn't doesn't feel safe, so I'm I'm hesitant to move into as much dorsiflexion as I usually do. Uh, by the way, I think the last oh yeah that that was the that was the 145, but my alarm <laughs> rang and <laughs> so the recording stopped. So a lesson in there. This is a uh, 150. 150 I did uh, before this 145 and the set before was 140 this one felt really bad now looking uh, here doesn't look so bad but in my mind was like close to the snap city I felt like my knees were made of rubber and uh, I thought I moved uh, a lot uh, into like a good morning nice to see that it wasn't that bad uh, from the side just tells you how much your mind uh, tricks you because uh, it wants you to be safe right 
So hitting 150, seeing the form is deteriorating, I lowered it to 130, did it for a 3 here, and the last one was kind of slow, so because I wanted I wanted this to transfer to a jump, to a higher jump, so I lowered it. Oh, I didn't lower it actually, I, I just lowered the reps. I was thinking like doing two reps because the first two I thought looked nice. But here I did only one and that's uh, because it wasn't uh, the fastest one as you can see. So naturally I lowered it by 10 more kilos and uh, hit uh, two sets for 120. The first one was for three and uh, the one after this was for two because I wanted to have uh, more speed. And also I changed uh, how I did uh, the squat midway through this. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to, to squat for me, the hand positioning, the stance and so on. I'm used to leading with my knees, but then I think in the middle of this, of these squats, I changed to leading with the hips because I feel uh, when I lead with my knees, my, I ne neglect the drive for m my hips. And uh, switching that makes me feel more comfortable, more stronger, stronger, makes me feel stronger, makes me feel more explosive, safer, which is the, the most important thing. You don't want to snap your back, you don't want to ego lift. Mm. I, at least me, I, I want to do this as long as possible, I want to, to train my whole life to practice parkour and uh, physical training in general. So uh, yeah, learning from the past mistake when I did uh, only heavy squats and no jumping, I figured this time I, I will integrate some jumping uh, after to speed, uh, speed up the, the movement. So I did um, like 25 uh, verticals. I don't have them all filmed because the dream got crowded and um, yeah, there is only like I believe the first three sets here. As you can see, n nothing special of a vertical. I'm also, I also switched to the techniques um, mid midway through here. I, you can see the hands, the starting position of the hands the arms. I felt like uh, I am. I have a bit more torque, not not starting from all the way up, but from midway. And after the verticals, I did some seated uh, calf raises here, just to rehabilitate my ankle furthermore, as this is the the bottom position here is the position where I have trouble with my my ankle thing did uh, like this is 30 kilos for 15 reps i did uh, four sets of this filmed only one because as you can see the gym is getting uh, more and more crowded so i didn't want to be in to occupy uh, a certain space it, it is really small and where wherever i put my camera it, it it will be in someone's way after the seated calf raises, I did uh, these uh, 45 degree hyper extensions. First, I did uh, 10 kilos for uh, 20 reps. Why do I do this? Because uh, you can never have enough uh, posterior train work, especially with doing the squats. You want to do some some work for your hamstrings, for your for your glutes, and uh, the whole posterior chain. The first set was uh, 10 kilos for 20 reps, then I did uh, 20 kilos for 21 reps, and the third set was 20 kilos for 10 sets plus 10 body weight reps. Messing around with the stance each time and uh, the activation, focusing sometimes more on the glutes, sometimes on the hamstrings, on the lower back, uh, as much as I feel uh, it working or not.
And the last exercise here, simple leg raises. I did uh, three sets of 10. Why? Because you cannot neglect your abs when doing all the other stuff. They're important part of the body, holding everything together. Abs and hip flexors. I believe that's my, my lacking point. I don't us usually do them. At least I didn't do them that often, but uh, I'm going to change that now. Just as a prehab thing and you don't want to have an imbalanced body. At least me, I want to be all around uh, well shaped in, in every aspect. Three sets of 10 reps and that's it for today.